In this Debaco University video, I'm going to answer the simple question, what are cannabinoids? Now we're going to go investigate this in a little detail. So hopefully you come along and are able to learn just what are cannabinoids related to cannabis plants. All right, let's get to the main event, why you probably came here to answer the question, what are cannabinoids? Well, first off, we need to understand there's something called photocannabinoids um, as well. So photocannabinoids are a secondary metabolite produced by many plants and liverworts as well. However, they are produced in the greatest concentrations and variations in cannabis sativa. Photocannabinoids are bioactive terpenoids, which were thought to be exclusive to cannabis sativa, but now have also been discovered in rhododendron species as well as some legumes, the liverworts genus, as well as some fungi as well. So it's not just cannabis, even though here we are relating them to cannabis, simply because they've been found to produce in the greatest concentrations. Now, some of those uh, photocannabinoids here might be familiar with, kind of CBD, THC, probably the two most famous ones, but there's also CBC, THCA, CBG, as well as others. And they're involved in kind of the neurological pathways and receptors uh, of the human body. So we get into cannabinoids or photocannabinoids. What's the correct term to use? Well, photocannabinoids are any cannabinoid that's produced in the trichomes of the cannabis plant. Photocannabinoids are fatty acids synthesized in the trichomes of cannabis sativa and also in the trichomes of multiple other species. Uh, photocannabinoids interact with our body's receptors to produce numerous um, therapeutic effects. And cannabinoids are a class of lithophilic molecules that are, interact with the body's endocannabinoid system, typically abbreviated ECS. Often used, however, these are often used as interchangeable terms. Endocannabinoids are what are produced in animals. So we have the endocannabinoids, and that's made uh, by the body, because endo means within. And then we have the photocannabinoids because photo means uh, made by photo, made by plants, the photosynthetic process. Now we have the endocannabinoids, which are brain derived, the photocannabinoids, and then we also can't forget about synthetic cannabinoids, and those are from pharmaceutical lab created. They all interact with the endocannabinoid receptors of the body. To kind of like oversimplify that, we have CB1 and CB2 receptors, different shapes because shape determines function, that's how we bind, and that's how we're looking at the importance of the shape of these molecules molecules to interact for their interaction with the body's neurological system. So properties uh, are photocannabinoids are mostly insoluble in water, but are soluble in alcohol and uh, fat and other nonpolar organic solvents. So fats being a lipid, those are nonpolar. In alkaline conditions, they can form water-soluble phenyl salts, which are essentially phenols, and the phenol groups are represented either by this or look like this. Now, just to take you back to a little biology, polar versus nonpolar solvents. Polar um, solvents are like water. There is a kind of positive and negative N. Nonpolar solvents are kind of like the, they don't really have a charge there in separation. There's no charge separation, where polar as a partial positive and negative charge is observed. Uh, so just kind of look at some of the physical properties of these cannabinoids. Now just an overview of the cannabinoids, as I mentioned, probably familiar with THC, CBN, CBG, CBD, things like that. Overview of the cannabinoids here derived in um, different kind of backbone areas here. The black structures here and the black outlines have been isolated from natural sources. Blue structures located right over here have not been found in plants. And those are kind of your alkyl um, de derivatives there. So again, the reason why I show this is just uh, shape determines function and that's really important to understand the shape. Uh, if you want to know the shape, we can not really provide a lot of information here, uh, but just to kind of give you that information so you have access to it. We also have side chain cannabinoids, which are SC uh, cannabinoids, typically abbreviated. And in general, side chain cannabinoids of cannabis sativa can be divided into 10 general groups. And these are some ones we might be more familiar with, where the Delta 9, Delta 8, THC, uh, as I said, as, as CBD, CBC, CBG, these are all also could be classified as what's called side chain cannabinoids. Now, why are cannabinoids produced? Just a great kind of step away picture. Well, plants produce cannabinoids as a form of defense against insect feeding and or uh, stressful environmental conditions, which can include UV light as well as water stress in the form of desiccation. 
In the, hu the human body produces cannabinoids also for survival through um, activation of homeostasis, which is that balancing there. So here we have our cannabinoid receptors, we have our photocannabinoids, we kind of need to have this like check and balance system to maintain the all important homeostasis within any living system. Lastly, connect, connecting cannabinoids uh, to humans. Uh, cannabinoids are the bio are bioactive in human beings in the sense that they bind to the endogenous cannabinoid system, or ECS, which results in the plethora of physiological responses. The effect of these drugs can treat many different diseases, ranging from inflammation uh, to anxi anxiety and many others. We'll cover some more of these uh, in other videos, but just kind of give you that basic understanding here of just what cannabinoids are beyond just recognizing. THC and CBD. Hopefully this provides some more detailed information for you.